Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to that 135th skill show. Uh, I recently got this book for my birthday. My wife picked it up from High Caliber Miniatures, and uh, they've made it easy for her to shop for me <laughs> by using a, uh, they have a Pinterest button. And so uh, back in probably November, my wife was asking me what I wanted for Christmas. But so she set up like a Pinterest board, and I can go around their website, and I click it over to the Pinterest board, and then uh, she, every one now and then, you know, for, my holiday, for the holidays and for my birthday, she scoops me up stuff and this was a really cool surprise it's something I've been wanting for a long time uh, or limited edition and uh, I know that High Caliber still has it and Last Calvary has it and uh, it's pretty much sold out everywhere else but um, yeah this is a really great book it comes in a, in a big box which I've, or, I've taken out of the frame already and it also comes with a 54 millimeter figure that's here on the cover I'm sorry for the glare but I'll show you the give you a quick glimpse of the figure here I get the autofocus to work. So really nice medieval 54 millimeter figure that you can uh, paint along with and, and try his techniques that he has here in the book. Um, and it comes all in these baggies. I just pulled him out to get you know a quick glimpse. So he comes with you know all little bits here to create the figure, and then it also comes with this great base and a little bit of uh, link chain that you can use that you use for his uh, for his smock there that he has over his armor. The book itself. It's a really great book. It's a paperback and uh, has a gloss cover here, but once you open it up, the pages go kind of matte. Uh, there's still a bit of a gleam from my light, and I apologize for that. Let's see if I can get it over here. The first section goes over tools. I'm gonna kind of skip over that section and kind of get into the meat potatoes. Uh, basic cleanup. Now, uh, even if you're advanced, it's always good to go back and, and reinforce your foundation, and this is a great place to start. It talks about removing bubbles and things like that. And uh, what's awesome about this book is that with each photo is a brief description of what's happening, you know, what he's doing. This even goes into the painting stages, stages, as I'll show in just a second. Another part I really like about this book, too, is uh, we talk about, you know, the flow of light. Now, this book only covers uh, top-down, you know, lighting. So, but here's a couple examples of, of different ways that you can light a figure. And then another really important thing is acrylic paints and how to use your brush. So there's three pages on that alone, and we even have examples of consistency you know of the paint and and whatnot so that's really important the first uh, getting started you know chapter is on intermediate level and it goes through base making creating frock which I didn't know this book covered that so this is really nice using natural materials and synthetic materials like the one thing I really like for tall grasses he uses uh, uh, fishing lures so real hair from fishing lures, I thought that was really cool. And then birch seeds for leaves, and you can you know break those up. So that's some real cool uh, little tips in there. And then as we get into the painting stages, he does the, the black and white priming, or black and gray priming. And uh, so that's really cool. And he also talks about photographing it beforehand, so you can go back and use that as a reference. The first time I tried black and white priming, it didn't work out, and it's because I didn't have uh, these photographs. And it's always good, it's always important to go back and have that reference. Now, once again, like I said before, each and this is really where it really comes uh, important is in the painting and consistency and and, uh, and the steps. Everything is step by step from top down to the bottom with a description of what color he's using and what uh, you know consistency is. So you know you'll have a a one to two ratio, you know, or you know, using what paintbrush is using. So it's really in depth on that. And so this is the intermediate section. And what's really great about this book, so if you're intimidated about the layering still and, and trying to figure that stuff out, is beginner's level. And this is really great, and it's even a great place to start because it's the exact same steps, except they're just simplified. So he's using a basic primer and then going through and, and showing you the exact same steps, it's just that they're simplified. And even on some of the stuff that I forgot to mention in an intermediate level, even though this is painting a 54 millimeter figure, he does go back and say, well, on a 35th scale figure, you can skip this step. It's really, really great reference. Like I said, if you're intimidated by figure painting or you haven't really figured it out, you wanna take those steps, if you can find this book or grab this book, then I'll go ahead and recommend it. So, and even on this, in the beginner section, he'll go over the painting and, and preparation of the base that it's included which is really, really cool, and even lighting the base itself. So, and in the back here, he gives a complete reference of all colors used throughout the book. So you get your Vallejo, your Tamiya enamels, Humbrol enamels, you know, Windsor Newton oils, everything that he's used throughout the book. And then over here, some really nice references for manufacturers, you know, forums, other artists that you might want to check out, and a hobby shop list, you know. And in the back, 
is uh, some examples of his work. And MJ is one of the best uh, figure painters out there right now, in my opinion. He's definitely one of my favorites. So, yeah. So that's a brief, uh, real quick five minute look at uh, MJ's figure art figure painting. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. If you guys can get a hold of it, then I highly recommend it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.